This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Draman and today we're gonna to be doing a performance review on the new Nike NBA socks, more specifically the Nike Elite Quick Crew socks, where we will be covering four aspects of these socks and those four things are fit, comfort, durability, and value, or in other words, are they worth it? So let's get things started. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the fit. These are a size large, which cover men's shoe sizes eight through 12. I myself am a 10 and a half. And the thing about me is my ankles are always a little bit swollen and I absolutely hate, I'm telling you guys, my least favorite thing to do in the world is put socks on. So if a sock isn't easy to get on and off, I'm simply just not using it period. These socks, however, I thought the fit was pretty good and they were pretty easy to get on and off. I actually really enjoyed it a lot. So if you're like me and you always find socks being a hassle to put on and off, these new NBA socks will definitely work in your favor. Now the length of the sock is a little bit longer than the previous official sock of the NBA, Santa's NBA Crew Sock. As you can see in this cliff, both socks are pulled all the way up and the Nike Elite Socks covers a lot more of my leg than Stance's NBA Socks, which is good for the people who want it to be like that, but I personally found myself scrunching down the Nike Sock just a little bit to bring it to a level I was more comfortable with. As for the fit in the foot area, again, it was fantastic. Some areas are tighter than the others like the midfoot, but this as well as the Nike grip technology on the bottom of the sock is there to help keep the sock in place to ensure as little movement as possible during use. So if you have a problem with socks sliding inside of your shoe, forcing you to take off the shoe and readjust your socks, these Nike Elite socks pretty much do everything to help prevent that very issue. The next thing we're gonna talk about is comfort, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was a little bit skeptical on these new Nike socks because I was not a fan whatsoever of the previous Nike Elite socks. I just thought that they were way too thick and they didn't last as long as I would like them to. These socks, however, I can safely say are a complete upgrade. Now the Nike Elite Quick Sock features a thin design in certain areas for a close to the foot feel, which I thought were going to be way too thin, but they ended up being quite comfortable. Now this padding is strategically placed in certain areas to allow this sock not to feel as extremely thick as the last generation of Nike Elite socks. And this is something that I'm personally a fan of, but if you are a fan of that extra thick feeling, Nike does offer a power version of this same sock. And when I was checking them out in the store, I could already tell that those were way too thick for me. But it is nice that it's there as an alternative for those who may feel like this sock, the Nike Elite Quick Crew, is too thin or doesn't have enough cushioning. Now the last thing I wanna talk about comfort-wise is the tube area. And this is easily my favorite aspect of this sock as it is extremely comfortable. No matter how many times I put these through the washer and dryer, this area never really lost its elasticity and the materials, which are made up by an ultra fine polyester fiber, remain soft to the touch and didn't become coarse or harsh, which is something that I actually had a problem with with these stand socks because the tube of this sock, after about a month of use, would kind of lose its shape and elasticity and that didn't allow it to conform to my leg as well as I would like it to. And the materials just also weren't as soft to the touch as they were when I first bought them. It is worth noting that you'll have about three to four weeks until the padding in this sock starts to lose its plushness, but even then, don't get me wrong, the padding is still extremely usable. I'm just saying that when I put on a brand new pair of socks after using the ones that I've been using for a month straight, I could definitely tell that the padding was a lot more plush in my new pair than my used pair. So if you're someone who looks for cushioning in their sock, especially this one, you'll have about three to four weeks until you have to add another pair in your rotation. All right, so now it's that time to talk about value. Are the new Nike NBA socks worth it? Well, they retail for about $22 and that to me is extremely expensive for a single pair of socks but despite its high price tag I gotta be honest with you guys these are currently my favorite socks to play basketball in not only were they very easy to get on and off but I thought the durability was fantastic and these socks found a nice balance between comfort and responsiveness so if you have no problem dropping 20 plus dollars on a single pair of socks I would highly recommend these but if you do have a problem with that extremely high price tag Look guys, it's no biggie. Those stand socks can be found on clearance for about $5 or less at certain retailers. All I'm saying is that if someone asks me which sock I prefer based on comfort and personal preference, price is not a factor, I'm going with the Nike socks. So that pretty much takes care of the performance review for the new Nike NBA socks. 
Hopefully this review helped you guys out, but if you do have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. That helps me out a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name is Darren. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I realized that I was slipping quite a bit, so I don't know what to make of that. Obviously, slipping is a huge sign of lackluster traction, but I didn't really notice it during use, so I'm gonna say the traction was pretty solid. I will say, however, I did have to wipe pretty much every chance I got. So if you're playing on really dingy floors 